सो हेलो एवरी वन हेलो वेलकम टू द न्यू डे एंड न्यू ब्लॉक टूडे वी हैव विद अस आर बिलवेड मुंतसर एंड यू मस्ट हैव सीन येस टूडे वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हिज एवन जर्मन एक्सपीरियंस बिकॉज दैट इज़ द वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जाम और द सब्जेक्ट दैट ही टुक इन हिज विंटर सेमेस्टर ऑल्सो वैन वी अराइव डेर आई टू के टू पॉइंट वन एंड ही टू के वन कोर्स एंड इन दिस सीरीज वी आर वी आर डिस्कसिंग वन बाय वन अबाउट दी सब्जेक्ट दैट वी टुक इन विंटर सेमेस्टर वी थॉट दैट टूडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट क्यू एम क्यू ए so if we start what is the full form of qmqa quality management and quality assurance correct and this is the subject which we took in our major which is software engineering okay. so uh, and i think this was the very first exam that we had to give as well uh, in our winter semester so if we start about the subject overview then how will you uh, tell about to, that to uh, give overview of the subject uh, yeah. at the I would say uh, the pro it, it is taken by Professor Legas Mayer. Mm. Uh, he is a good professor. Yeah. So if you do the classes regularly, you will mm. uh, understand the concept very easily. Yeah. Uh, those are like common topics. There are some additional topics that is a little bit uncommon from our bachelor, mm -hmm. but lot of them are co common as well. Mm. There are control flow graph. There are. Two tables and all. So even if 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 you attend the classes regularly, so you have a good uh, grasp of the subject. Correct. Another point is there is exercise session. Mm. After usually after two uh, classes, mostly there are five exercises. Yeah. Do attend the exercises as well. Yeah. Correct. Because those are very very important for mm. the exam. Mm. And I I was coming actually to that point as well because when because this was the very first lecture which started for us. so we used to attend we tried to attend the classes as much as possible the lectures was good because we felt uh, very new informations as well which we encountered and also during the exercise classes i think it is important as well because we get to practice the questions as well correct because we get to know and what used to happen in exercise classes that uh, they told that we will publish exercises you practice by yourself and uh, when you come the exercise uh, question first yeah. you solve it try to at least try to solve it and Correct. in that class they will uh, give you the exercise solution that this is how yeah. we are solving it yeah so uh, but the thing is and sometimes it used to happen that uh, they used to say that first you need to solve exercise by yourself and then we'll discuss the solutions Correct. so that you get a good idea it's not like you're coming to the exercise classes and just directly taking down the solutions and sometimes it used to happen like for some of the questions like control flow graph that he said so we used to sometimes if you have practice you would say okay this is how it yeah, is being solved yeah. then if you have a doubts you can go and ask in the exercise session correct correct yeah. and about the subject overview as well uh, as he said that yes try to attend the classes at least we try to attend the classes as well as the exercise sessions uh, one point i want to uh, say that a uh, lot of people ask but yeah. it is not mandatory at, at least yeah. for our sessions to attend the classes or the exercises yeah, so even correct. if you don't attend anything you may try to into give it the exam you can still give the exam it is not mandatory to submit the exercises correct. they advise that is you sh one should do because some of the questions are related and will come down to the exam part as well but they told us this thing and starting that you will be familiar with the questions or the type of questions you would be encounter in exams so it is advisable or recommended to go to the exercise session it's not mandatory Correct. so you can not even attend any class any exercise session and still can give the exam but it depends on you for us we try to attend the sessions and the lectures we oh, or did uh, attend all the classes lectures yeah. and exercises at least it was the rules for us yeah. if if it, it changed then we have nothing yeah. to do yeah correct but yeah so the classes are good it's yeah. like quite uh, encouraging yeah and uh, one so. and one point that uh, people sometimes can might ask is that is it a theoretical subject or is it numerical subject so i would say uh, almost 50 50 not yeah. 50 at least uh, 60 40 yeah, where it's uh, a mixture of 40 both 40 percent theory because for example there are five exercises hmm. the first exercise and the fifth exercise is almost theoretical yeah. two three five uh, three three four are like mathematical yeah. so you have mixture of both mixture of both and uh, i think uh, yeah some of the theory questions are there so as he said first exercise i can remember some of the safety questions yeah, right they are mostly um, theoretical you just write the yeah. answers and all. so uh, there are there is theory as well now since this question is arise we'll come to the exam part so when we gave the exam some of the few point, points i think that we felt was that first thing i think in our session it was quality management and quality assurance correct because for exam we have discussed uh, how you can find previous year questions in one of the videos i'll put the video link in the description also uh, in some of the papers we saw that it is either only quality assurance paper or quality, or quality management quality, quality management, management. and i think like yeah and i think it was merged 
so Correct. but some of the questions we saw like in some papers you will see those questions in quality assurance you will see in, uh, th that section for our paper i think it's the best of uh, both, both worlds of and the, both uh, of the worlds so yeah. what we are discussing is now about uh, exam preparation hmm. so for the preparation of the exam what we did was we have a website called kai where usually yeah. the questions are there yeah uh, so from there we downloaded the uh, questions yeah. one session is that in the christmas we, you have 15 days gap is better if you can download the question in this time sort it out it would be very easier or beneficial for mm. you when you're preparing for the exam mm. so download all the question find the answers of those question in mm. the slides mm. and just list it out don't yeah. need to memorize all of just list it out okay yeah. this is there yeah and some of the questions also you will, you will find familiar because uh, from your exercises as well Correct. because i think the exercises questions might change but i think it can be similar to, be the, similar to previous the previous questions, questions. Uh, yeah. So for exam preparation, you have to do two things: solve previous exam questions and exercise. And exercise. I think correct. these two are good yeah. enough for yeah. using the exam. And we went through the PPTs once or twice. I think we went through the PPTs throughout to actually. The topic yeah, actually. to understand a topic. But the thing is, we uh, also focused on exam questions as well as the uh, I exercises. think exercises part right. as well because you know that is uh, I think quite similar pattern which you might encounter in your exams. Now. Uh, for theory and for numerical in our exam also it happened that time constant i think was also an important also important point important um, point not for this exam this we realized in this exam but actually overall in the masters you have to keep in mind the times are very short yeah. you have to be super fast about that sometimes so, there is yeah, time constant so qmq was our first exam yeah. uh, of the semester first semester first exam hmm. so it was a one and a half hour question uh, exam we had time. in the exam time there were many questions we know the answer of the question but when you're trying to solve that it is getting difficult to solve in that time yeah. if you just solve one question and you took some extra time you get half hour lost and then even if you know the rest of the questions answer you cannot do it because you yeah. don't have the time but i think it depends on person to person it's Correct. see many people got i think we yeah uh, many people actually uh, uh, solved it quite yeah. good quite yeah we, we we also try to solve solve as much as possible and i think one thing you also did was that even if you're not able because of the time constraint you're not able to answer the entire question just at least write something or answer partially Correct. because the partial mark was given this was one of the point which I thought, and I think yeah, we, uh, we got some points. So if any, if you are attempting some questions, you will get some partial yeah, marking. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good point. Yeah. But while giving the exam, do uh, keep an eye on the clock, clock because it's very crucial. Yeah. And I think it happened with you or what that you have to bring your own watch, right? In exam, you have to keep your own watch and yeah. uh, your own cheat sheet. And I think finding a place where you get proper light to see the cheat sheet if you so you already mentioned one point that we haven't mentioned yet yeah that is in this subject yeah. we have a cheat sheet correct correct so you have a cheat sheet uh well, cheat sheet is a single page where in the both side you can write anything yeah i, I have talked uh, also about the cheat sheet i'll put that uh, link as well in the description so you yeah. can go and see uh, the video usually, uh, if from kai you, you can download the cheat sheet or you can make it your own yeah if you from uh, uh, for our cases there are three four uh, cheat sheet in the kai mm -hmm. and from one of them was good we used that yeah. if you if you don't feel like okay the syllabus has been changed sometimes the syllabus gets changed so if you don't like that cheat sheet is good enough you can you make can your make own your own cheat sheet, sheet. but i think uh, for reference you can keep a cheat sheet also i think we should keep we can keep a cheat sheet link as well in correct the we can description do that. so we can do that yeah so this is a uh, one page cheat sheet where in the both side you can write anything yeah, yeah. as much as you can yeah. that's not a problem yeah. you can take it but uh, now you get a question like if there is a cheat sheet then what's the benefit or what's the downside yeah the benefit is uh, you don't need to memorize a lot of theory if there are a lot of theories you can put it in your yeah. cheat sheet yeah and uh, sometimes it happens that when giving the exam there are mathematical questions so mm. for that you don't need cheat sheet mm. for our kmk exam i think we didn't need that much of cheat sheet uses i think see the cheat sheet we required because we did some mapping so i think this is one of the good points for the theory questions like we said suppose in some of the exercise you encounter some theory questions so you can even write with pen Pencil, so write suppose two or false questions or some uh, definitions. So you just you can just write it because in our paper as well, if you remember the first question which came, I think it was implementation based. You correct, remember some correct. safety questions, so, but with respect to implementation. implementation. So it was not direct theory question, direct but education. one of the last questions which was in our exam, it was like write two point of ISO standards, yeah. right? 
something so like that. something like that so that we directly took uh, saw from the cheat sheet and or we directly wrote from the cheat sheet sure. so i think keeping the theory in cheat sheet and just doing the mapping is good enough so that you can just directly if you encounter some theory questions which are direct then you can write if you encounter some implementation based then you have to you know answer accordingly yeah. uh, according to that scenario mathematical questions you can write the formulas in the cheat sheet as well hmm. so uh, for this actually you don't need to memorize a lot of things you can just solve it you can practice it then yeah. you can give and the good exam correct and i think for formulas and all because once you practice previous year questions and once you uh, start doing exercise exercises then i think you will get used to it and it's manageable if we talk about in general you know the qmq exam experience although for our exam the time constraint i think was one of the important factors uh, and this i realized that even you get the partial marks so this might happen for some of the exams you might feel that uh, the time you have enough time we have some exams we will discuss that as well when once we come to those uh, subject discussions uh, but i think for uh, qmqa specifically for, for software engineering if you are having uh, your specialization one or two in software engineering yeah. i would say qmq is a must take subject it's, it's a good, good subject four, as well four credit. Yeah. you can for it yeah it. it's a four credit subject i think it's a good subject i liked it because it's quite you know related to the software management experience Correct. and the quality assurances the yeah. techniques that you learn so i think it's good to learn if you are interested for software engineering taking software uh, engineering as a major or either minor but i think it is a manageable subject and i think everything is manageable if uh, if you give time if you it. give time to it and uh, yeah so this is a good subject you can definitely take it keeping time constant in mind because this might happen when we practiced then as we said because some of the papers we encountered encountered for quality assurance or quality management so then when we used to solve sometimes then we thought that time is time we, is we enough. have enough time so that we can revise the questions as well but in our paper i think both were combined or so there was a uh, i think quite uh, time decent time, time constraint time, yeah. there so you have to keep that in mind and try to answer as much as possible because you get partial marks and uh, i think we discussed about the exercise point as well that try to go to the exercise sessions it's not mandatory but if you go then you might ask your doubts as well and you can because in one of the last exercise sessions they had this one q and a session yeah, where yes. they discuss student doubts as well and you can just clarify your queries as well correct if you have doubts you can go ask them yeah uh, assistant of the professor he we uh, guys so they are quite helpful helpful if you go there uh, they will help you they, to solve yeah, any doubt, doubt. yeah they uh, clarifies the query as well and but the thing is they ask you that first you solve it by yourself and then you can ask your sure. queries uh, so yes uh, you can clarify your doubt as well it's a four credit subject we took in our major software engineering yeah. exercises are not mandatory cheat sheet is allowed and we'll try to put the link of the cheat sheet uh, i think how what is cheat sheet that video link and from where you can find the previous year exam questions that link so i think then you can accumulate the material and you can start Sorry. preparing once you arrive here and also even if you arrive here then you can start your preparation right Correct. it's not like yeah. do we need to pre, uh, like do any prerequisites no do you say you, you don't need any prerequisites for this subjects and or like we said that you don't need to do many day classes even yeah. coming late you can directly start it yeah. if you're coming in the winter you can directly start it if you come in summer yeah. you can take it in the next Correct. winter and i think you you are good to go with this subject and it is manageable everything is manageable as he said it's just about the time and the effort that you put in Correct. so that's it for this video i hope you get some idea about the qmqa quality management quality assurance if you have some questions you can either write in comments or can contact us and thank you muntasir for sharing your thank insights you. and that's it we'll see you in new day new vlog with some other subject discussion because we are doing this uh, subject by subject series and try to cover the subjects that we took in our first semester and rest you know like comment share subscribe it doesn't take much time bye bye ciao ciao namaste assalamu alaikum चलो